What's been on my mind a lot lately, like a lot, a lot. And I really want to just like keep incorporating it into my classes and my meditations is, um, is this opening up, right? Is this transition? We've been in a transition for 15 months, but uh, this specific space as uh, the country starts to open up around the pandemic and, and, and what that means for our nervous systems, what that means for um, processing all that has, um, all that has happened um, in the last year plus. And my friend, um, Megan Dwyer, who I know that some of you uh, know, uses this beautiful language around having space to metabolize, having space to metabolize um, all, all that's happened, right? And so I often talk about that, you know, our, our bodies remember everything. Um, trauma is uh, compound, compounded, it, it takes place over time. Um, and, and in this instance, it's been, it's been collective um, trauma and grief as well. And so making sure that at, if at all possible, we carve out the time and space to process what happened and is happening and to make sure that we don't run back into old routine or old patterns that if we really think about it, or some, and, and some of us have recognized it, that weren't serving us to begin with, right? And I think back to kind of the beginning of the pandemic and those first couple weeks or month when we were kind of all in shock, but the spirits were high for a point, right? We're in this together. People were ringing the bells and there were celebrities were doing concerts and performances, right? And all of this stuff to, to, to take care of one another. And I'm a little concerned about where is that now? Um, but also that during that time period, there were all these like quotes and poems and memes about the great pause. Right, and it being an opportunity to like sift through those things that weren't working. Weren't working. Um, there was like the the quotes that were or the facts that were coming out about like the environment, what was happening with the air and the water. And I know that like in my circle with my sisters, my friends, some of them saying, "This is actually kind of nice. I'm not racing around trying to take my kids to three different sports practices a day, and we're all just kind of home together." Right, and so carving out space and the yin practice i think is a beautiful space to do that to help us metabolize everything that's been happening and will continue to happen and remembering that digestion um, there's a couple different stages to digestion right there's like the intake of food there's the assimilation of food there's the digestion of food and then there's the elimination process as well right if, if things aren't um, metabolized and eliminated properly, they they store up and toxic residue builds up in the body, et cetera, et cetera. And always there's a parallel that digestion and metabolism is not just happening on a physical level, right? There have been many things that we've been taking in always in our life, but I'm speaking specifically about this last year. There's been many things that we've ingested, um, physiologically, psychically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and how are we, how are we metabolizing that, uh, assimil assimilating anything that feels nutrient dense, right, um, and then eliminating the rest. So come to a, a tall seat, turn your palms to face down. If you're comfortable with closing the eyes, close the eyes, otherwise soften the gaze and then take a very deep breath in. Open the mouth and the whole body exhales. Hmm. And invite your whole self to land in this space, to untether from anywhere that your mind, your attention, and your energy has already been today to call it back and anchor it here now.
Take another deep, long breath in. Open the mouth and the whole body exhales. And invite your attention to start to move downward, down into the body, down into the belly. I'm just noticing if the belly is gripping or holding or bracing, right? We've, we've been doing a ton of bracing this last year. And just the invitation or the encouragement to let this part of the body soften. So sometimes that can look and feel like the belly widening, expanding. And looking for the breath in the belly. And then allowing your, your seat and whatever it is that you're sitting on, just letting there be an awareness there and imagining this base expanding, widening, and allowing yourself to be supported by the sturdiness of whatever is beneath you. Floorboards, house, ground, earth. And then take a third intentional round of breath in and out here. And our digestion starts in the mouth. So just notice what's going on with your tongue. What would it be like to try to soften the tongue to the bottom of the mouth? Let the tongue widen, right? The tongue is a very dense muscle. So softening it might feel pretty weird and or you might just have to imagine it to begin with. But seeing if you can imagine or feel the back of the tongue where it connects with the throat, allow that to soften. Which also might feel Oh, your tongue might feel heavy, might, might feel like you're about to swallow it, just might feel odd. But so that way the, the tongue softens all the way down through your esophagus, down into the stomach, the intestinal tract. all the way down through the bowels. And then we're gonna work a little bit with the exhale. There are different types of pranic energies that we can work with in the body. The pranic energy of the exhale is called apana and downward energy helps us get rooted, helps with digestion. So it's also a good energy to work with. Anytime we've been, anytime we're stuck, like literally uh, or figuratively or anytime we've uh, been traveling. So start to lengthen and Deepen the inhale and the exhale to a degree that is appropriate for you. Not all the way to your max, but maybe to like 80, 85%. Because in a minute, I'm gonna instruct us to hold the exhale or hold the breath out, but take a couple of cycles lengthening. We'll come into breath together so you can try to stay with my count. You're going to take a breath in. Long breath out. Squeeze all of the breath out and then hold the breath out for five, four, three, two, 
One, let the body inhale naturally. And exhale naturally. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna increase the hold. So full breath in. Long breath out. Hold the breath out. So the belly squeezes in a little bit, then hold the breath out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let the breath take a natural inhale. And exhale. We're going to do it again, increasing the count to 10. Just notice the, the urge to breathe, but see if you can hold the breath out, that discernment between discomfort and pain, right? No pain. If it feels like it's too long, don't hold it as long. But I want you to pay particular attention how the exhale and that empty, empty, emptying informs the inhale, right? Getting empty informs and creates space for filling up. So let's take a full breath in. Long breath out. All the breath out, hold the breath out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then inhale. And exhale. And just notice. All right, release your uh, any breathing techniques. Let the eyes flutter open and let's make our way down onto our backs. 